Welcome back, folks, and the movie we just watched was Goon, starring Sean William Scott and Levi Schreiber. The movie's basically about a guy who's sort of down on his luck. He's from a family of very bright individuals. He's got a father who's a doctor, his brother's a doctor, but he doesn't quite have the brain power to match that success, and so he's spending his days as a bouncer at a bar. It turns out that he can not only take a beating, but he can dole one out when he goes to a local hockey game and gets into a fight with one of the players. The coach on the team sees this and brings him in even though he has no idea how to play hockey. He doesn't even know how to skate. But because he can fill the role of an enforcer of a goon, someone who can both physically defend his fellow teammates as well as dole out physical punishment to the opposing team, becomes legendary in the minor league hockey circuits and he finds his way up into essentially like the triple A level of hockey just below the major league. And now we're set up for a confrontation between Sean William Scott's character who's a young up-and-comer and Leif Schreiber's character who is someone who was also a goon in the major league of the NHL and is now seeing his career come to his very end as he's moved back down into the minors and now it's his confrontation between the, the older goon and the younger goon out on the ice and just seeing who can beat the crap out of each other the most. I have to admit, probably the most enjoyable part of this movie is watching Sean, Sean William Scott beat the crap out of people and also get the crap beat out of himself as well. But it was interesting to see him play a role which wasn't so over the top, so a Stifler kind of character. He's a very humble individual. He, know, he knows that he's not an intelligent person, but yet he's using what abilities he has to make the best out of his life. And you find yourself rooting for the guy. He's just He's just a nice honest guy um, and it was refreshing to see him play a role that was so different than what we've seen him play now it opens up with based on a true story now this is actually based on the life of an individual called Doug Smith who wrote about his story coming into minor league hockey as a goon um, doing a little bit of research he was a, a boxer and then found his way into um, a local hockey team it's very loosely based on his life story but Again, you definitely get that sort of parallel between someone who couldn't really find his way in, in one branch of his life and then suddenly found himself in the most unlikely of situations as a goon on a minor league hockey team. Now, as a comedy, it sort of tries to play it safe. It doesn't really push the envelope too much. There are some funny bits to it beyond the whole getting face punched in scenes, but there are times when the comedy sort of falls flat. It's not as funny as it could be, but it's still genuinely a a fun watch. It's very lighthearted in that way. I tried to put in a romance in there, and I just didn't really feel like it worked to a certain extent. I guess though they needed something else for some William Scott's character to sort of accomplish, aside from being able to beat the crap out of Lee Schreiber's character um, at the end of the movie. I'm almost sort of reminded of Forrest Gump. You know, Forrest Gump getting a character who had... Uh, mental retardation uh, and other uh, physical ailments that sort of held him back, but he was a very fast runner as he got older, and that's how he got into college and how he got his degree was he had a football scholarship, and the only reason he was on the team was because he could take the ball and run really fast, fast anybody else, and get to the end zone and score the goal. You know, the same sort of thing with, uh, with the character of Doug. He's not good at hockey, but because he can fill this role so well, he becomes something of a star in his own right. It's a very lighthearted movie, very lighthearted comedy. It's definitely a fun watch. Um, although if you don't really want to spend the time to watch it, you could probably go on YouTube and and search up Goon best fight scenes, and you could probably see, in my opinion, the most enjoyable parts of the movie, probably in a 15-minute clip here on YouTube. But again, it's a nice little story. It's nice to see Sean William Scott play a character that's very different than what we traditionally see him play in movies. And as a hockey movie, I think it probably delivers pretty well. I, again, the only major other hockey movie I can think of right now is, my, is The Mighty Ducks, but there you go. Now, Netflix gives the movie a four out of five stars. I don't know if I give it a four out of five, so that's a three and a half, maybe. Three and a half out of five, definitely. It's a fun watch. If you're looking for something lighthearted comedy, definitely take a look at it. And next time, we'll be watching... So until then, my name is Hoff, and I'm watching movies on Netflix because it's easier than finding a babysitter. Bye, guys.